I don't think he was talking to me. He might have been talking to you, George Taylor, but he wasn't talking. Hey, sure hope he, was I hope talking. he was talking to me. I, he was talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know who he was talking to. Joy, I'm talking to you, though. Do you have an issue with Aaron Rodgers calling out his critics? <sighs> he is the accountability god, huh? God. God. Look, he's that person that posts all their business on social media and then is like, why are y'all in my business? Right. Because <laughs> you invited us here. We know everything about your little life. That's why they're talking about you. Right. I, uh, all these experts on TV, you on TV. That you works. do a show every week. Every week. Who's, who's experts? It's you. It's you. What are you talking about? It's exhausting, honestly. Keep, it's keeping up with Aaron. <laughs> we were talking about the, uh, the, Col the Col Kardashians. Col we could do a whole reality lineup. <laughs> Aaron's that guy that's like, listen, I found this $17 milkshake at Erewhon. It's really cleansing. I charged my, my crystals in the moon. I'm really, he really needs some Reiki, get the chakras right. Ayahuasca I, milkshake. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I just, I, I don't know who Aaron is. What do you mean you don't care about what the critics say? I do an opinion show. I'm not so ridiculous to think that other people don't have opinions about what I have to say. Now my opinion's right, but everyone's entitled to their own opinion right, about it. Right, right. And if you don't want people talking about what it is you're doing, why are you talking about what you're doing? Mm. What's the message here? And it always circles back to the same thing with me with Aaron. You're playing that. It's not, it's always everyone else's fault. Now it's our fault. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we, I, I, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go with this. What are you saying? Experts on TV, there's no other experts, no one else. Maybe I'm not an expert, right? I've never thrown a, a football in a, on, a, on a field. So maybe I'm not an expert. There's no one on TV that can be critical of Aaron Rodgers and they're right. Too far? We all got eyeballs, so there's that. Listen, I'm, I'm the expert he's talking about. <laughs> it's me, <laughs> right? I, I'm coming at you. First of all, it was all love. It was all cool when you take a shot at the, at the young rookies. Oh, right. man. You know, if they can't catch the ball or, or run the right routes, they can't be playing. They shouldn't be playing. This and the third. That's cool in the media. But when now when the world can see you throwing picks. Mm. See, when you throwing picks, you can't blame everybody else. Right? One little drop pass, oh, it was his fault. You know, a lot of the viewers, they might not know the football like we all know, but they see, oh, he dropped the pass. It got to be the, uh, the, the, the rookie, you know, wide receiver. Aaron said it. But now the world can see, it's you, brother. He hasn't been playing well since game one. He hasn't played well last game. He threw picks. He looks bad. And the last thing about Aaron Rodgers that I can't stand, because this guy's a real clown. Seriously, though. He's the only guy I ever seen as a quarterback, as a superstar, right, that can dish it out. Oh, he's just that a third. Then soon we talk about not trying to come at him, but saying what we see, you throwing picks, you losing games to the Lions, who you said wasn't that good, but they beat you anyway. Now when we talk about that, oh, after critics, this that third, nah, bro. You got to dish it out, you got to take it. You're not playing well. All this MVP talk that they had in the past, number one seeds, you lost then. Now you get other receivers, not as good, you're still losing. I call it how I see it. Mm. Mm, that was crying like a little baby. They're talking about me. Yeah, bro, you're not playing well. Now, what's the, what's the difference between him and, and, and a young rookie? What's the difference? Nothing, I don't see it. Come on, man. No, the difference is Aaron has back-to-back -back MVPs and couldn't, let, couldn't stop letting everybody else know how great he was playing in those two years. But now that they're struggling, now that you're not elevating those players, now that it's very obvious that they are also losing because of you, mm. now it's once again, it's not... It's not we, it's not us, it's me. That's the worst part right there. I don't care about the critics, what they have to say about me. What about what we have to say about y'all? The Packers. The Packers, your teammates. Cause you heard what he said, he's like, he's like, um, what'd he say? I've thrown touchdown passes, see what I'm saying? Like, yes. like you feel, you're feeling it. You don't care about what you're well, talking about. You threw it. touchdown now, passes to who? I was... Devontae Adams, which is the reason you won those two MVPs if we're gonna keep it a buck. Now, I, I've been in that situation. Now, I'm not as soft as he is. He's soft as Kyle. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. now, now, you know. Charming. That's what they call yeah, it. Yeah. Ultra soft. People would say stuff about me, right? I didn't really listen to it a lot. But if I ever responded, I mean, I did have 1,300 yards. I did have 12. I'm hearing it. Mm -hmm. It's affecting me. We're affecting Aaron. Don't be mad at us, Aaron. Let's play better. That's all. <laughs> I just can't get over it. I mean, just to hammer it home, just to really think about this. Okay, it, it's very normal for a quarterback or an NFL player to have a weekly radio hit like in his market. You know, maybe you go that. maybe you go on yeah, you go on the radio in Philly and Howard Eskin asks you a couple Howard questions. Eskin, yeah. yeah, yeah, I know the game. Couple couple dollars, you know. You know what's not normal is to have a weekly national TV appearance. Like he is literally on national TV as often as the rest of us. And 3 weeks ago, 2 weeks ago, 
He's on national TV saying who should be playing and who should be sitting for the Green Bay Packers. Terrible. Then when it's about him, it's I don't care what the experts, y'all are dumb, this whole talking. You're a talking head, Aaron Rodgers. You're what you're one of us, whether you want to admit it or not. In your own weird way, you New are. Media. He, New media. Well, he ain't me. I'm tough. <laughs> if I do bad on air, I'm gonna say I did bad. He, he gonna, he's gonna deflect it. It was Acho. He didn't set me out right. Oh, Dave, he's a cowboy guy. He's hating on me. Oh, Joy Taylor, I don't know. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, like, stick up for what you say, man. Like, yo, you're not playing well. Just say that. Here's my biggest thing, man. It's I, I remember this quote, Shady, in football. The big eye in the sky don't lie. That is... That's the same. Coach, I did run the ball hard. Hold up, hold up. The tapes say you did. The tapes say you didn't. <laughs> the big guy in the sky, you don't lie. The big guy we're referencing, it is the videotape. Aaron Rodgers, the big guy in the sky, don't lie, big dog. If you are going to change your play from MVP level to rookie caliber level, mm. you got to change your attitude. You can't change your play and not change your attitude. You were playing like an MVP, so you could have confidence and cockiness like an MVP. That's true. But if you're going to play like a rookie... You better have the humility of a rookie. If you're going to play like a rookie and throw picks like a rookie, you better not talk Three like a rookie. So if you want to play like an MVP, by all means, have an MVP mindset. But don't change your play and not change your attitude. That's where I'm at. Because a big guy in the sky, Shady, what it don't do? It don't lie. It don't ever lie. Not a day in this That's life. That's a great point. Not a day in this life. I will say, though, this doesn't, this doesn't, as we're all, you know, kind of being a little tongue-in-cheek here, this doesn't make me happy. I watch football because I want to watch the greats do what they yeah. do. Mm -hmm. I want to see Aaron Rodgers be great. It's more fun to watch the NFL when That's Aaron Rodgers is yeah. balling. So nobody takes any, like, pleasure. I won't say nobody. Some there are some people do. that do. I personally don't take any pleasure in watching great athletes struggle. I'm not trying to... Let me watch Aaron Rodgers throw a couple interceptions. What does that do for Who me? Who wants to Nothing. watch bad football? Nobody wants to. Nobody wants it's to. Just a... So that's like that's where the narrative gets turned. There are some people that I think actively root against Aaron Rodgers. I'm not one of them. I have stuff to do. But some people <laughs> do. Those aren't the people that are critiquing Aaron at a high level. Right. You don't need to watch too much of what the Packers have been this year. And quite frankly, what they came into the year looking like to – be surprised at how this has all turned out. The way that Aaron is playing is surprising. What's not surprising is, once again, it's everyone else's fault, mm. and it's not Aaron's. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, you got to get it right, either off the field or on the field, one of the two, but you can't think you right on the field and be all the way wrong off. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.